Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profitex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning MySQL I Stored Process Tutorial for Beginners. This is our part number 21. Inside this video session guys, we will see about reading data from our table using My Stored Processor in PHP. If I back to browser, now inside this database, we have a table something called TBL underscore users. Now inside this table, we have multiple rows inside this table. Now what we want? We want to read all these data by using our PHP code through stored processor. In the last two videos like 19 and the 20, we had discussed the complete detail that how can we operate our MySQL stored processor in PHP. We had seen about the insert, update and the delete data stored processors. Now inside this, we are going to read all these data from our code. So go to SQL tab first, SQL tab of this database and let's say that delimiter, delimiter in here, so let's say delimiter and inside this I'm to create, create processor and let's say that read all user data. Now inside this we don't want any parameters so let's say begin and end block here and finally inside this begin and end we have to write the query to get all the data from tbl underscore users table so let's say select all from our table something called tbl underscore users all we have done now if suppose we want to get according to ID, so we have to modify this stored processor on passing our ID and we have to put that ID inside via condition. But at this time, we want all the data from this TBL underscore users table. Now if I press go button, successfully we have created that. Now only the thing we need to do, this is the stored processor, we have to go call from our code. So this is the file called read-data.php. So let's say connection equal to let's say MySQL I connect and here I'm to pass localhost let's say root root here and the database we have something called if I copy the name of the database so this is MySQL I processors so copy and paste let's say if we are checking about the valid connection or not so mysql i let's say connect error no so inside this after getting any error we are going to print all the error messages so let's say error mysql i connect and let's say error so it's a function and finally we have to exit here now let's say that we have a valid connection we don't have any error about these details so now we are ready to execute our query so let's say select underscore query and we have to call our stored processor so back here read all user data back to editor now let's say call and this is the processor name after that we have to execute this query so query mysql i query inside this we have to pass our connection variable first in the second we have to pass our select query variable so pasting it here so by the help of this mysql i query we have successfully executed that and get all the data inside this query variable only we have to iterate over this variable by using either functions called mysql i fetch asoc, mysql i fetch array or mysql i fetch object. So by using any one of these functions actually we can list our data to our output screen. So let's say while row equal to let's say mysql i and I'm going to use called mysql i fetch asoc. Now inside this only we have to pass this variable name and here if suppose we want to change this name something called results copy this and pasting it here now inside this list echo 
something called PRE or formatter HTML element and let's say print R and this is something called row and finally if I make MySQL I close function so MySQL I close and inside this we have to pass our variable name so if I save all these changes back to browser read data dot php reload this page now as we can see that inside the second id we have the detail inside this third id we have the detail and so on all the data actually we have stored inside our table called tbl underscore users so by getting all the data to the output screen if we want to populate all these data to our table we can make html code for that now let's say that one more stored processor we are going to make and by the help of that stored processor we will pass any id inside this and after getting that id actually we want to re return the record of that user so back to sql tab let's say delimiter inside here let's say delimiter let's say create processor and let's read user or let's read specific user and this is data now inside this we are going to pass our user id and it should be int all we have done now next we have to make begin and end block now here we have to pass our delimiter symbol and inside this begin and end we have to write our sql query lo logic so let's say select all from tbl underscore users where let's say id equal to user id what actually we are getting right here inside this processor now if i press go button successfully we have created that so if i copy this processor back here and if i duplicate this line come in the first line in the second line let's say read specific user data inside this if we want to read the specific user data let's say 6 if we will pass inside this and go inside our result data open a new tab and reload this page so on the behalf of that id we have only now a single record on the basis of this id if we want to read the data of fourth number users to so pass only four back to browser reload this page now we have fourth id data so this is all about selecting users by the help of our mysql stored processors inside this php code so by the help of video sessions called 19 20 and the 21 we have seen that how can we integrate our stored processors into our php code where we had done about insert data update delete as well as listing all the data from our table to the output screen so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day